Hello guys and welcome to my video and welcome me back to my channel because I know it's been a good three months since I posted a video. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Um, in the YouTube world, I feel like that means that you left your channel and you're never coming back, but that's definitely not true. I just had to take a break to work on some stuff. Quarter started and I decided to start a blog, so that took up a lot of time. I also decided to start a business with my sister, a multimedia design business. Um, so that took a lot of time and I also got into a new relationship, so that takes a lot of time. Um, so I am very sorry for my hiatus. I am back and I am going to make sure that I have videos for you guys weekly, consistently, and blog posts, and Instagram posts, and all of these things. So I'm going to be working really hard to make sure that I don't go MIA anymore. <laughs> but thank you for sticking by me and watching this video. Today's video is a chatty get ready with me, and I'll be doing this makeup look right here. Um, I did get a lot of products sent to me from L'Oreal, so I'll be using those in the video. So go ahead and keep watching and we'll get ready. Alrighty guys, so let's get started. So for today, I obviously have a very fresh face. I don't even have my eyebrows on. For this video, I wanted to do my whole routine. So I'm gonna go in with my primer next. That's the Nivea Men Poche Balm and there was a lash on it, that's cute. <laughs> I'm just gonna rub this in until it gets tacky. I don't wanna take too much since I did just put in moisturizer. So I'm just gonna focus this in um, sort of like my pore areas and then just rub that in until it gets tacky. I do also like to just pat this in so that it really gets in there. As you guys can probably tell from my eyes, I do have a ring light that I'm filming with now. I'm really excited about that. Um, my sister invested a lot in me. She purchased my backdrop for me, this ring light. She actually bought a new Canon camera. I'm filming on my Sony camera right now, which is the one that I usually film on. Um, and then I'm gonna try filming on her camera, but I really just wanted to get a video out, and so I'm filming on my camera. Um, so next, I'm gonna take my Sigma 3D HD Beauty Blender. This is my favorite beauty blender. Um, it's my favorite Sigma product as well. It's amazing. It has all these angles so that you can like really get in there with your bake, you can get in there with your concealer, anything kind of works really well with this blender. I'm going to take my foundation, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in 106 Sun Beige and it's really cool because L'Oreal just shared me on their Instagram page using, using this foundation. I can't talk today. They shared me on their Instagram page which was awesome, um, they already shared me twice on their Facebook page. and and they liked my Facebook page, um, and that was like a year ago, so it was really cool that they shared me again. They also sent me a few goodies that I'm gonna be using in today's tutorial, um, and I did use some in a picture that I posted on Instagram. If you wanna check that out, I do have all my Instagram social media handles listed down below. Using the flat side of the Sigma 3D Beauty Blender, I'm just gonna pat that in. For concealer today, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey. I have been wanting to try this concealer for the longest time, so I'm just going to dot this along under my eye. I always take my concealer down the sides of my nose as well. I'm also going to take it onto my forehead, on the chin, and down the nose, and just there in the laugh lines. I look so scary! <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so I'm just gonna use the round side of my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that in. So I did mention this just really quickly in my intro, but I did start a blog, which is something that I was working on while I was away. And it's something that I've honestly wanted for the longest time. I did start a blog in 2014. I have one post on it, and I never got around to finishing the blog or anything. Um, but as you guys know, I've talked about how I'm really into fashion. My goal is to work in the fashion field. I'm currently majoring in business, but I do want to do that in the fashion field. So a blog just seemed like the right way to go. Um, I just haven't been able to start one for the longest time. Now that my sister got a new camera and um, we have more time, we just finally decided 
All right, let's do this. So I built my blog. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to my under eyes. Um, my under eyes were pretty dark, so I'm just gonna add like the smallest bit more just in the hollows. One other thing that I mentioned really quickly in the intro was that me and my sister actually started a business. Um, my sister is a freelance graphic designer. Uh, she has been doing graphic design since she was in college. Uh, so for a really long time now and through my YouTube I've actually been learning about how to do different types of design so I've done my intro my animations I did my logo I designed my whole blog by myself did that logo um, you know I do a lot of social media sort of product posts that kind of stuff and so we are turning that into a business we are gonna start you know designing website designing blogs designing logos intro animations we're gonna be doing uh, music videos we will be doing editing and all of that stuff so we're working on our website right now it's really time-consuming especially trying to juggle my blog my YouTube school and life <laughs> it's kind of hard so uh, we don't have it up and running yet but that is something that we're working towards. Back to the makeup. With that concealer all blended in, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to bake under my eyes. So I'm just gonna take that down the nose and then I'm gonna take that just in the hollows of my eye and just down the nose. And then whatever I have left on the sponge, I'm gonna take that into the other areas as well. So I'm gonna take just the smallest bit onto my forehead and chin and my mouth area. Next I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do my nose contour. So I'm gonna take my Sigma Bake Precision P89 brush. It's a angled sort of kabuki brush, I wanna say. I'm gonna take this brush right here into my bronzer palette and I'm gonna take this, it's sort of like a, I wanna say like an ashy brown, like it's not too golden. I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna use that to contour my nose. And I'm really just gonna take that on the sides in between where I have my bake going. So next I'm gonna go in and finish my contour. Something that I've been loving contour wise is my powder blush F10 brush from Sigma. And then of course I'm gonna take those same shades on to my forehead area and on my jawline. I am gonna just finish off my face makeup and get into my blush. So I'm gonna take my Becca Cosmetics Duo and this is the Champagne Pop slash Flower Child Duo. It has the highlight and the blush here. And I'm just going to take that onto the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna go in with my Duo Fiber F50 Stippling Brush and I'm just going to dust away all of that excess powder. I'm also gonna use the same stippling brush to just make sure that my nose contour is nice and blended out and my contour contour is nice and blended out as well. I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. This is the Makeup Extender Setting Spray and I'm just going to set all of that makeup that I just did. Next I'm going to go in and do my brows, so I'm going to take my Sigma Brow & Lash E80 brush and I'm just going to make sure that my brows are combed up so that all the hairs are going the same way. I like to call this brow my Chola eyebrow because it looks like I have like a cut in my eyebrow. My hairs just grow down in this brow for some reason and so when I don't wear makeup I just look like I purposely shaved my eyebrow. Using my FE65 small angle brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brow Brown, <laughs> I'm just gonna go in and do my brows and I like to start at the bottom, sort of do my shape and then go in at the top 
and do the same thing. Sometimes while I'm shaping my brow, it can tend to look a little crazy, but once I go in with concealer, I just make sure that the shape is the way I want it to be. And I'm gonna go in with my spoolie and I'm just gonna make sure that all of that is like blended. I notice that when you go in and you really blend everything, it just gives you a much more natural looking brow. And then taking my e.l.f. Um, brow gel, I'm just gonna go in and make sure that my brow hairs are all going the same way and stay in the direction that I want them to go. All right, so off camera, I did already go in with concealer, fixed up my brows, cleaned that up, and then I also went in with concealer onto my lids, and I like to use concealer as a eyeshadow base, so I went in with translucent powder on top of that, and I set it so we can finally start with the eye makeup. So for today's eye makeup, I'm gonna go into the L'Oreal La Palette. La Palette? Uh, nude Intense Palette. So I'm gonna get into my E35 Tapered Blending Brush and I wanna get into, I'm gonna do this shade right here, which is number three. I'm gonna take that onto my brush and just put that all over my crease. I'm really gonna go above the crease with this color because I wanna make sure when I put another color in the crease that this one really pops. Next I'm gonna switch up my brush and I'm gonna go into, not this one, switching up my brush, I'm gonna get into my Tapered Blending E40 brush and I'm gonna get into this deeper shade of purple, I think. I'm just gonna get into this shade right here. The last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is just like an, a life update where I've been, something that has also been taking up a lot of my time, and that is that I have a boyfriend. We've been dating for three, almost four months, um, but we spent like a year talking on and off and we're finally official and I'm so happy and a lot of my time goes, um, him <laughs> uh, which you know when you start a new relationship you always want to hang out with them and stuff so that's also a little bit of a reason why I've been a little bit MIA but if you've watched my get to know me tag I honestly thought that I was gonna be single forever I just wasn't ready for a relationship and anything like that but my boyfriend is so sweet he's such an amazing person and I just love him so much so uh, just wanted to fill you guys in on that because, you know, life update. I'm gonna go back into that brush that I used for the um, transition color and I'm just gonna make sure that the two colors are blended. I'm not gonna pick up any additional product but I am gonna blend everything together. All right, so I'm next gonna get into this dark purple shade here at the end of the palette that's number 10 and I'm gonna get into two different brushes I'm going to get into my blending e25 brush which I'm gonna use this for the outer corner here and then I'm gonna get into my small tapered blending e45 brush and I'm just gonna make sure that gets into the crease when I get into the crease here I like to make sure I look to the left to make sure that it really gets into that hollow gonna get back into a blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out and since this is a dark shade it is a color that you want to build so I'm gonna go back in and do the same process over again all right, so I finished blending out that dark color here in my outer crease I did also go in with concealer and just used the pale I want to say pink kind of purpley color and that is number eight in the palette I used this whoop, this color here for the lid and just decided to go with an all matte shade so next I'm gonna go in with eyeliner and then I'll clean up the sides here so I'm gonna take my L'Oreal telescopic eyeliner and I'm just going to do a wing here I do have a full uh, tutorial on my winged liner so if you want to see a more in-depth look at how I do my eyeliner. I will link that down below. I 
I'm next gonna go in with concealer and just fix the bottom of that. Alrighty, so I was having a bit of a fiasco with my eyeliner. It came out a bit thicker than I wanted it to, um, but we're gonna work with it. We're gonna see where it goes. So I'm gonna go back into my darkest purple, sh purple shade and taking the short shader E20 brush, I'm just going to apply that right into where the crease meets the eyeliner. And this is just gonna give me more of like a cat eye shape. And I'm just gonna pull that up into the crease here. I'm gonna do a coat mascara and then I'm gonna apply my iconic House of Lashes. So I'm gonna do that all off camera because it takes a little bit of time. So now that I have those lashes on, I'm actually gonna move on to the bottom lash line. So I'm gonna smoke it out a bit. I'm gonna take that same dark purple shade that I have on the outer sort of V shape and I'm gonna apply that to the outer corners of my lower lash line. And then using my wide shader E59 brush, I'm gonna get back into a mixture of the two, the transition shade and the purple shade, and I'm just gonna smoke out my lower lash line. I'm next gonna get into my telescopic mascara, and I'm just gonna apply mascara onto the lower lashes. I'm gonna get into my NYX Wonder Pencil, and I'm gonna take this into my lash line. For my final step, I'm going to apply some highlighter into the inner corner of my eyes here. I'm also going to take that highlight down the nose. And I'm going to give myself a nice spritz and then I'll do the highlight on the face. For my final step, I'm gonna get into the Infallible Paints Lip Paint, and this is in the color Topless. These smell so good. Mm. It smells like candy. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen that I posted a makeup picture with blue lips. It was also one of these Infallible Lip Paints that they sent me. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of today's Get Ready With Me. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I am so sorry for being so MIA for three months. Thank you for still being here, for still supporting me, even though I took that break. All of my social media handles are linked down below. My blog is linked down below and my discount codes are linked down below. So please check those out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you guys wanna see a YouTube story slash advice video or any other kind of videos you wanna see. Please comment them down below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.